Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from a unit solution of ordinary differential equation. In that, we will be discussing about first method that is Taylor series method. Now the question might be asked, theory question, explain Taylor series method for a solution of ordinary differential equation. So let us consider that we have a first order differential equation y dash equal to dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. Now suppose given has uh, the thing has been given y of x0 will be equal to y0. What is the meaning of that? This is your initial condition or initial value which is to be given. That is when x equal to x0 we have a value y equal to y0. Let y equal to f of x be the solution of an equation. So we will expand it as far as Taylor series method. So at x equal to x0 by expanding we will get equation as y equal to f of x0 plus x minus x0 f dash of x0 plus x minus x0 square upon 2 factorial f double dash of x0 plus x minus x0 cube upon 3 factorial f triple dash of x0. Likewise you can expand this term, this series. Now here this f of x0 it is nothing but your y0 term. This f dash of x0 it is nothing but your y0 dash term. f double dash of x0 is nothing but y0 double dash and this will be your y0 triple dash term. Third derivative. Now we can substitute here as y equal to in place of f of x0 we will write here y0. In place of f dash of x0 we will write it here as y0 dash this is wrongly written x minus x0 into y0 dash plus x minus x0 square upon 2 factorial in place of f double dash of x0 we can write it here as y0 double dash and plus x minus x0 bracket cube upon 3 factorial in place of this f triple dash of x0 we will write it here as y0 triple dash. Now if we know the derivative at x0 then equation gives a solution to a differential equation. So as we want to find it out what is the value of y1 when x equal to x1 when x equal to x1. So please remember that h is nothing but a step size. What do you mean by h? h is nothing but a step size and formula of that is x1 minus x0. So here here we have written what is your x1? x1 will be equal to x0 plus h. So to find y1 at x1, that is when x1 equal to x0 plus h, this formula will be. What will happen here? In place of x minus x0, you have to write it here as y of h. So therefore, this formula will become as y equal to or in other words, you can write it as y1 equal to also. y1 equal to y0 plus x minus x0. What is that x minus x0? You can treat this as a h. So h into y0 dash plus h square upon 2 factorial into y0 double dash. Likewise, you can expand this term. So this is what is your end formula for Taylor series method. Based on this formula, we have to solve numerical. Now in some books, x minus x0 is written. Now you can do one thing also. We have to find it out y1 at x1 so therefore in place of this x you can put here x1 also so that x1 minus x0 is nothing but a h and you will get a same formula this is what is a derivation of taylor series method so if the question is asked the question might be asked for 5 marks or 6 marks explain taylor series method for a solution of ordinary differential equation so in that you can write this this is what is the theory of taylor series method Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask. Thank you once again.